Um, and I'm about as independent as they call, you know, I can make my own living. I can cut my own grass. I can do whatever I need to do to make things happen. But me... What is up beautiful babes? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Guess what? We're getting ready to do some makeup today. Y'all know I cannot see. That's why I wear these big ass eyeglasses. So you know, y'all have to bear with me when it comes to my lighting and all of that. But I am in my new beauty room. I call it my fashion passion beauty room. Baby, ba ba we're gonna do some makeup. It's been so long. Y'all, it has been so freaking long. Let me tell you something. Oh, I'm addicted to Mountain Dews, okay? Mmm. Woo! Let me do that before I get started. I actually washed my um, makeup brushes on yesterday. So it kind of prompted me to do this, y'all. Y'all know I don't have any makeup. Everything I have is like ancient stuff. So I will try my best to list everything in the description box. But honey, you be lucky that it still exists. But for the most part, hold on. Why do I have some fuzz on my face? Of course, I've already done my skincare for today. Um, but I am going to prime my face today. I'm actually going to use this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I don't know how to use it. I'm just going to scoop in and put it on my face. I've washed my hands, of course. Show me life. Show me love. Make a change. Time is up. My skin has been doing pretty well up until these last couple of nights and I actually have a little clock pour right there that I need to work on. I'm not sure if it's the latest moisturizer that I used which was for or, which was from the herbivore. I don't know. But we're gonna deal with it as best we can and see what happens. I'm not actually going to talk about what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it because I'm not a makeup guru. I can't teach y'all how to do no makeup. Honestly, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Just taking a wipe and cleansing off my brows because my brows is going to be the first thing that I do. And of course, I'm still loving my... What is these? <laughs> I can't even remember the name of my favorite eyebrow pencil. Is it Revlon? Well, I would definitely list that below. This mirror that I'm working with now, I told y'all I needed a new mirror. I actually had, as I was going through all of my junk, I had a mirror um, that was stuffed away in one of the little organizer bins. And it's pretty cute. I like it, you know, but it's so low. Uh, it's got the different size, um, magnification on it and everything and I'm loving it um it's just that I have to turn it different ways in order to see what I need to see but it goes super high I took off the what it goes up to but I mean it's like 10 times what I would need but the biggest one is down there I think I'm not sure but I'm gonna go in here and try to etch out this brow y'all it's been so long since I did my makeup like I used to do it and I want to get back into that I do. If you're wondering where Baby Royal is, she's with her Paw Paw right now. She just got some new Gerber treats in and she's enjoying them. They're like cheese puffs. And you know, they're kind of tasty. I'm loving them myself. <laughs> that is crazy, huh? Yes, indeed. But they were pretty tasty. Not quite as, you know, cheesy as the real cheese puffs, but they're pretty tasty for her little taste buds. So she got a whole case of them. So she gonna be enjoying herself for a good long time, right? 
I'm just trying to see where that brow is going, y'all. Like I said, it's been a while since I just did a full beat. I don't know what got me out of it because I love makeup. I do, I do, I do. But I just haven't been doing it. But today I wanted to pause and just get cute. And it's not even the weekend yet. But we're going to do it like this, right? We don't care what day of the week it is. We're going to get cute whenever we want to get cute. And periodically people ask about the music that I use in my videos. Now I am an Epidemic Sound affiliate and their music, Vita Bomb, I mean, I love it. Just check it out. Check out this song right here. This is one of my favorites, y'all. Bigger picture I could see if I just close my eyes, have the foresight to believe. Yeah, that's a great jam. So I just finished with the Tarte um, 
concealer on the brows and I'm just going to use this to go on top of my brow, the LA Pro Conceal. see what palette I'm going to use. I guess I can do away with my little shawl here. At first I was kind of chilly, but I'm good now. So I guess we're going to go with the Juvia's Place palettes today. Yeah, that music is the bomb. I love it. I love it. And honey, if you're looking for some music for your videos if you're into this youtube thing that's the place to go honestly i'm just gonna be i don't know i'm kind of a orangey vibrant colors kind of today i'm not sure i'm just gonna go for it no rhyme or reason at all like i said it's been so long i'm just gonna start getting into playing around in my makeup I actually have some makeup I could give away like well it's some primers and I'm not a primer girl much but today I wanted to just because always do my eyes of course first because just in case there's some fallout I want to make sure I don't get on my foundation and concealer under my eyes and all of that. So, I know a lot of folks always have concerns about when you're older, you know, as far as makeup. Makeup is about style, you know. <laughs> and I don't care who you are. If you want to wear what you want to wear, do what you want to do, you know. If you think it looks good on you. I am not a stickler for that. You know, I have some folks, I look at their makeup and I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. And there are folks that you'd be like, mm, mm girl. And I'm sure they can say the same thing about me, but that's okay. As long as I'm happy, I ain't got nothing to say about nobody else. I didn't even look at this palette here just to see what colors I pulled out. I was just doing something. Eee. Well, I really needed a more nude color like this one. I should have started with that one, but I didn't. I didn't. I'm doing, like I said, I'm doing it the way 
I want to and I'm still using that same brush I haven't switched up the game the same brush with all of it so that did soften that edge up a bit that's what I really wanted oh yeah here's another one of my jams that I love y'all they got some music oh my god if forever is not enough oh my god what a time to be in love So I'm actually not doing any like eyeliner, but because I wear my false eyelashes, I'm going to go ahead and put on these here. And when I put on my glue, it will take the place of my eyeliner. And I'm going to use my favorite mascara, of course. If you've been here, you know Maybelline Falsies is the one for me, baby. Yes, indeed. Let me get in here. <laughs> I got to get up in here. Up in here. I'm just coating them a little bit. And then I'm going to tight line as well with an eyeliner yeah as i was saying about that moisturizer from herbivore i think that's what is causing 
my little breakouts and I don't want to talk bad about it but it may not be for my skin for sure so try this one it's from Maybelline. No, is it NYX? Which one is it? This is NYX. And we're also going to, and we're also going to put a little bit of that underneath here on my bottom lash line. It's coming together, but like I said, I'm so out of it. I gotta get back on my game. Yes, I do. Alright, put this on, then we'll pop on some lashes. This is my lash glue. This is the House of Lashes. I'm back to that. As I said, the other one I used to use the dupe from Amazon. It not, it's not there anymore. Where I'm just not as close as I'm used to being with this mirror thing, so I'm just having to go all the way in, y'all. Yeah, it is still too far away from me, but I'm going to start working with that because I know for the few people that want to watch my channel, hopefully, they can actually see. Okay, she's done that I know of. Hopefully they don't fall off anytime in the next few minutes while we're here. Just dragging that excess right there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this cute goldy looking color. It's gold pewter kind of shade. Pop it in the inner corner. Look so. 
I meant to do that before I put on my lashes, but you know. Like I said, I am definitely unskilled labor when it comes to getting this done. We're gonna work with it like we champs. Mm hmm. So, that is done. I hope y'all can see me. I hope the lighting is good. So far, so good. Okay, let's try some foundation. This <laughs> NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop has been one of my favorites. I have it in classic tan. It's been one of my favorites for a minute. I kid you not. However, I don't know if I have much left in here. So we're probably going to have to drain it or do something. I don't know. Let me see if I can get it out because it has a tendency to splatter everywhere. Especially when I haven't used it in a while. I don't even know if I have anything left in here. We might be trying to find something else. Ah. It's not happening. It's not coming out. <laughs> oh, no. Let's see if I can prick a little hole into the top of it here. Into the um, you know, little nozzle to see if that'll help. Uh-oh. We might be on to something. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, that's that's not a lot it's not a lot but <laughs> let me go ahead and get it before it dries okay okay listen um someone had asked me when it comes to relationships and women these days always proclaiming that you know they ain't worried about no man don't need no man good by self and I'm just going to tell you this this is for just me and my own little perspective of things just me okay I'm talking about me I'm talking about nobody else but honey I enjoy uh, the sanctity of marriage I enjoy relationships okay I love a good solid relationship honestly that's just me um and I'm about as independent as they call you know I can make my own living I can cut my own grass I can do whatever I need to do to make things happen but me I'm talking about me now. I ain't talking about nobody else. I love, I love a good solid relationship. And I love being in a good solid relationship. And I know a lot of people think that it's great and cool. And they can do it on their own. That's beautiful. I applaud all the sisters I can. But this chick right here. Uh, she's going to do all she can. To keep her good man around. Or to have a good man in her life. Because it's just a beautiful thing. It's good to have someone there for you. It's good. Hell, just to have somebody take out the garbage. <laughs> just saying. I need a beauty blender. How? Or a sponge. I need to hurry up because this tart. Yeah, that tart ain't going to play with you. It's going to dry. Right now. And it's done. Look, it's already, and I mixed it with the L.A. Pro Conceal. Oh my gosh. My favorite sponge is actually the 
real techniques. I don't know what kind I got right now. It's just a sponge heck. It, it, it might be a bad sponge because it is not doing nothing to make me happy. No, right now. But anywho, as I said, I love a good solid relationship. I love being cuffed up. And I think for the most part, those who say that they're, you know, you have to appease yourself and make yourself happy for the moment. And I want to say they're just saying that for the moment because, girl, you cannot be real. You cannot be real. Nobody wants to be alone like all the damn time. Now, I'll, you know, I'm the first one. I love having my space. You know, my husband and I both, we both love to do our own thing when it comes to whether it's a TV show we want to watch or whether it's, you know, what we drink. We're different. <laughs> we are different in that regard. Um, so we both, for the most part, love to take time out to do things for ourself, ourselves uh, when it comes to, you know, just the enjoyment of life. He likes to sit outside in the summertime. I do sometimes, but I know that them skeeters going to eat me up. He drinks Bud Light. I drink wine for the most part. Uh, so we have our differences when it comes to certain things, but overall, we love being cuffed up. He and I love being in a relationship for sure. And those ladies who say that, you know, I think have experienced the downside of relationships because they ain't that bad, girl. It ain't that bad. Mm -mm. There's some good stuff that comes out of being in a relationship. And I'm not knocking anyone who's saying that. Everybody's different. It may be some women out there that genuinely say, I don't want nobody. I don't need nobody. It's not about a need. It's just a, a beautiful thing to enjoy time with the one that you love and spend some time with someone that you love and know that you got someone who's got your back, you know, and if you need, um, to get some gas in your car and it's freezing outside that they'll go out and do it you know that's a manly kind of chivalry kind of thing you know someone to open the doors for you I'm just saying we all have our things we love and I'm just talking about me now I love being loved and that's me so that's my take on it and you can take yours however you want to with sweetener without that's you but I promise you there is nothing more beautiful than someone loving you and you loving them back and you all got each other you know through thick and thin. It's beautiful. It's some memories and that that woo just stretch for beyond. I know Mike and I always talk about when we're especially when we're traveling on the road, we're like, oh my gosh, we've been so many places. <laughs> just going here, going there. It is so much fun to reflect on that. So and I know it's like you don't want to dwell on relationships because if you can't find someone that's compatible to you, then that's a bummer. So that makes you sad, makes you upset, make you cry, make you like, ah, oh. but don't knock it. Don't, don't ever knock it because I swear one day it'll, it'll work out. And if it don't, then I understand. But if I did not ever, ever, ever find love, I wasn't going to be miserable. But, you know, it's those moments when you say, damn, that's what I need my man for. Okay. My hair is so flat today. <laughs> but, you know, 
that's just me. That's my thought process. Edge this out a little bit more. <laughs> like I really got a sculpted face today, okay? I really got a sculpted face. Oh my God, I haven't seen myself with this much makeup on in uh, almost two months. Honestly speaking, probably New Year's Eve was the last time I just it up. I need to go ahead and put some on these lips because they dying for some moisture. <laughs> yes, indeed. This is kind of fun. It was kind of long, but it was kind of fun, if you know what I mean. Now, all of these products will be listed below. Whether you can find a link on them, uh, no. Make me a lip. You see that? I'm making me a lip. Yeah, girl, because the older I get, the lips are seeming to go away. They don't want to stick around. They don't want no parts of what I got going on. <laughs> why? I don't know why. I love my lips. And the other thing people always talk about, you know, these days, you know, everything is more untraditional things are more acceptable than they used to be back in the day especially when it comes to you know when it comes to even having children outside of wedlock and you know this is just the normal people are just like this is it's okay to do this and you know truly it really is if that's your choice at any time or another um because a lot of people thought is hell I mean, even with people getting married, they get divorced and you're still um, a single mom. You're still a single mom, no matter what. But it's just, again, not that having children out of wedlock is a death sentence. It's not. But it's so grand to have someone sharing that responsibility with you as much as they possibly can. I know women are all the way in, got to be there for the most part. There are some gentlemen who are all the way in for the most part in rearing their children. But when it comes to the overall process of it, even though my children's biological fathers were not 100% in their lives, financially they did help, which is a plus. And you're going to need some help from somewhere. You're going to need some help from somewhere. And for those that think you can do it alone, you can't do nothing in this world by yourself. It's always going to be something and someone that's got to be there. You know, um, a responsibility would have to be shifted off of you to someone else at some point in time because you can't do it 100% alone. Who thinks like that? Who thinks like that? Even if the parents don't work out, there's going to be or need to be or have to be somebody or some folks, you know, um, you may not can rely on the biological parent all the time, but you can rely on, you're going to have to have someone. You know, um, for my kids, I actually was so blessed. My mom had passed on before I had children. So, therefore, they didn't have their grandmother from me or the fathers. You know, so that was something that God blessed me with a beautiful woman named Miss Letty who was there for my kids. And even though my kids' biological father was not there, 
God blessed me with my husband, Mike, who stepped in and did not miss a beat as far as a father figure for my children, you know. Um, and I think kids sometimes just forget who's really been there uh, throughout their processes. But eventually one day they wake up and say, oh yeah, that's right. You know, while they're young, they don't realize who all is is putting in for them, okay? Day in and day out. But honey, that's my take on a lot of things. And this is the makeup look of the day. Girl, I did that. I did my makeup today. It's done. Now, I don't use a setting spray. Mine just set. It's just sitting. It's just sitting. I missed one product out of my whole shebang. One thing that I didn't do is prime my eyelids. But I kind of did when I put on the uh, concealer to clean up my brows. But that is Excuse me. But that is it. <laughs> it's this dang Mountain Dew, y'all. It's calling my name. that is it for today y'all thank you so much for hanging out with me uh and my little tent talk talking stuff let's see that's her in the dark and that's her with the little light on her so thumbnail and that is it y'all so i will see y'all on the next one if you enjoyed the little sit down chit chat get ready with me do my makeup kind of thing Hey, let me know and we'll do more of these, okay? So I'm out of here for now, but I will see y'all on the next one. Take care all until then. And please, girl, keep your hair, your face, your hands, and your feet looking gorgeous. <laughs> I haven't said that in a long time. I like that. And also, share me with your world. See ya. Bye.